Hello, by the end of this 10-day trend forecast period, I'm pretty sure most schools across the UK will be on their summer holidays. Is the weather about to change? Well, yes, it kind of is. We've already seen a bit of a shift over recent days. The jet stream has slipped further south, currently kind of straddling the UK at time of recording. But we need to look out west, out in the Atlantic, where the jet is taking a bigger dive further south, generating a trough, a dip in the jet stream, which spins up this area of low pressure. And this area of low pressure, which generates further areas of low pressure, will dominate our weather, especially through the course of the weekend. But the devil will be in the detail. And for that, we need to get a little closer to the time. One of the things we are pretty sure of, though, is that as the jet stream drives southwards and starts to develop that area of low pressure, it's going to scoop up some warmth and humidity across the near continent, extending north. These are now the winds at low levels, pushing up some heat and humidity from Spain and from France across the UK during Friday and Saturday. So we are going to see the temperatures rising once more. Unlike the last few times where temperatures have been on the rise, though, this one is likely to be accompanied by quite a lot of cloud and not the blue skies and also increasingly the threat of some heavy rain. Now that warm air is knocking on the door by the time we get to uh, Friday, probably the highest temperatures on Friday across the southeast with some sunshine up to 30 degrees Celsius. An old weather front straddling through parts of England and Wales likely to provide quite cloudy conditions and also mark the boundary between cooler, fresher conditions further north and west. But again, on Friday, just like Thursday, the potential for some pretty heavy downpours and thunderstorms across Northern Ireland. There's a warning in place for Thursday. Check out the Met Office website and app for more details on that. This is the 10-day trend, so we're looking further ahead and uh, trying to see what may happen through the course of the weekend. As that heat and humidity builds across the south, that's where we're looking down to the uh, southeast in particular through Friday night and into Saturday, the first bout of heavy, potentially thundery rain drifting northwards. Look at the temperatures overnight. We may, in the London area, stay up above 20 Celsius, whereas it will be cooler again and more comfortable with the fresher air further north. The shower's fading here, but increasing further south, and then during Saturday, we're looking at further plumes of heavy downpours drifting their way northwards. Now, don't take these maps too literally. This is just to give you an idea of the kind of general weather pattern. With the air coming up from the south, heavy thundery showers coming up from the south. As always, they will be hit and miss, and as we'll see in a minute, there's not much confidence in the details for Saturday, but we are happy that we're going to see warm air drifting northwards, bringing quite a bit of cloud and some heavy and thundery downpours. Now, that's the Met Office main or deterministic model interpretation of how the rainfall could look, but of course, if you watch the 10-day trend regularly, you'll know that that's not necessarily that useful, particularly when there's more uncertainty. We use ensemble forecasts where we run the model many times, just slightly tweaking the initial conditions, and that generates things like this. These are the postage stamps for the rainfall accumulation during the whole of Saturday. Each one uh, a different member, a different run of the model, and each one showing slightly different things, or in some instances, very different things. If we take a closer look at these four panels, member 21 actually doesn't have much rain at all over the Midlands and eastern England, whereas 22, 23, they're quite similar in the formation of the rain, the brighter colours there, and this white line affecting Northern Ireland, Wales, and pushing further north into southern Scotland. This one's got a slightly different orientation again. So, yes, quite a bit of uncertainty in just how, how much rain we'll see and when we'll see the heavy downpours through the weekends. But we're pretty confident that this low pressure is going to develop somewhere down to the southwest and pump up that warm and humid air. So there is the uh, high chance of some heavy downpours across the UK during Saturday. But they'll always be hit and miss. Some places may not see many at all, and there will be some sunshine. One of the question marks is around the exact position of the low pressure, how it interacts with the jet stream as it dips down to the south. This is, the again, the Met Office main deterministic model run, which is keeping it a little further south and west. But if you look at the postage stamps, but not from the Met Office model this time, from the uh, European model, ECMWF, I, you, know, you can't see much detail here, but uh, these are the same postage stamps. Hoping you can pick out that actually 
actually on more of these there's a bit more of a swirl closer to the UK compared to the Met Office model and that's because the European model, the parent model from that, the deterministic model, has the low pressure closer to the UK compared to the Met Office model. So this is the European model, it's got the low sort of just to the south of the Republic of Ireland and uh, closer in to Wales and the southwest. And as a result of that, the rainfall is, has pivoted further north into parts of Scotland, whereas the Met Office model has it just more down to the south and west and that rain just in a slightly different orientation further south across Scotland and into Northern Ireland with heavy thundery showers potentially coming up further south as well. Compare that to the American model which has things completely different altogether with low pressure sitting across parts of Scotland still generating heavy showers across a good chunk of the UK but uh, a very different weather pattern. This is the least likely of those three solutions. Something between the uh, Met Office and European model is the most likely scenario. Hence why we're pretty confident we will see some thundery showers drifting northwards this weekend, but the devil will be in the detail. Most of the models also agree that that low will then, maybe spawn other little lows, which generally sit around close to the UK, drifting slowly eastwards as we head into the new week. So, yeah, we may not have the, the detail pinned down, but what we are confident of through Saturday, Sunday and Monday, it's certainly going to start very warm and humid, Sticky conditions ripe for the generation of heavy showers. Thunderstorms are likely in some locations, dropping a lot of rain in a short space of time. But for those details, if you've got plans this weekend, then really do stay up to date with the forecast. Not going to be one that weather apps are particularly useful for. So make sure you're giving us a follow here on uh, YouTube. We'll have the details in our day-to-day -day forecast and we will have more of those details closer to the time. It's not that unusual in this kind of setup at this time of year. Uh, we are talking four or five days away to, to not have a firm grip on the details, but we are pretty confident there will be heavy and thundery showers uh, across some parts of the UK this weekend and into the early part of next week. What happens after that? Well, it's likely that that low pressure will ebb away, but further low pressures never too far away from the UK. This is the probability plot showing them the main eight different flavors of weather with a probability of zero up to 100%. Strong signal there, those darker reds for high pressure to the north and low pressure to the south. That's what we've seen through the course of the weekend. But for next week, the main signal is in this mid-blue colour, certainly for the middle part of the week, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. That's the most likely setup, and that is where we've got uh, low pressure sitting up to the uh, northeast and, and a northwesterly airflow across the UK. It looks something like this, with, say, low pressure sitting up to the across Scandinavia, up to the northeast of the UK, and high pressure trying to build in from the southwest. Now, high pressure brings drier weather, low pressure brings wetter weather, so the closer you are to the high, better chance of things are of staying dry. If you have to rain, then you need to be closer to the low pressure. This is the most likely pressure pattern. It's not really biased, low pressure or high pressure, which is why it says unbiased, but a northwesterly airflow coming in. And a pretty high chance of that, almost a week away, 51% chance, so more than half, uh, more than half the uh, likelihood that that will be the setup. By the time we get to Wednesday, the most likely pressure pattern is the same. Uh, just the, the chance has dropped ever so slightly. But again, that's a pretty strong signal at this stage. And even Thursday, even moving further forward into Friday, yes, the chance is dropping off, but still, throughout next week, that is the most likely pressure pattern with low pressure sitting to the northeast, high down to the southwest, which means things will be showery, particularly close to the low, with most of the showers across the north and the east, largely dry in the south and particularly down to the southwest, close to that area of high pressure. With a northwest of the airflow, generally that would bring cooler than average conditions, but mostly around the UK at the moment, the sea is warmer than average, and at this time of year, with the strength of the sun, it'll feel warm when the sun is out. So, broadly speaking, temperatures like to be close to average feeling warmer when the sun is out. As always, and as I mentioned earlier, for those day-to-day -day details, do keep up to date with everything from the Met Office, followers across social media, and if you're watching this on YouTube, do hit subscribe.